Hi everybody, Jerry here. I have about an hour to fish. It's actually 6.03. Oh, <laughs> I just missed them. It's actually 6.03. I was checking out some new water, but uh, uh, stopped on my way back, came in here, and uh, see what we can pull out. But, oh, I think I got smacked. All right, obviously there's a bite. So, maybe we'll pick one up. There we go. I'm just starting off with a rooster tail. I have an hour to fish. So, Hopefully, we'll pick a few. One more. Let's see if they're in there. I'm just right now throwing a rooster tail. I'm just feeling the water. Ooh. And I just wanted to see if there were any fish around, and apparently they are. So I might do different things. Um, but we're just getting started here. I have an hour to fish. Actually, I was here earlier, and there was three guys here, so I moved to another spot, and they actually moved in where I was fishing, so I jumped in here, and uh, now we're just catching crappie. That's a nice one. I'm doing a rooster tail today. These things are great with the crappie. Get him unhooked and on his way. Let's see how thick they are. We'll take another cast. The funniest thing is, there were three guys up in here when I got here. And I don't know if they did anything because they seemed to follow me around. Didn't want to place my cast. I have an idea where they're holding. Could be one here. Let me shoot one a little to the left. But hopefully pick a few of these, might throw something a little bigger in a little bit, but we can easily, I think we can definitely get a limit today. I think these got to be nine inches or so to keep, um, and they all definitely look in that range, especially if you uh, fold down the tails on them. They are definitely over nine inches. One was a pretty big one. Now I'm just kind of working the old rooster tail. I really should be working with a lighter outfit, but I started working in some brush earlier. And I didn't have time to stretch your line. I got twisting it, not good. But let's get a cast out there. Seem to be concentrated in this one spot. Let it drop and we got the rooster tail. And I'm working kind of heavy for crappie, I think, for this kind of probably a little lighter line. Might be better off. Uh, I think I got a eight pound, eight pound strength on. And I think I got about eight pound in front, which is light for the brush, but heavy for this here open water crappie business. And I, oh, pulled it out of his mouth. I don't think those hooks are sharp. Actually, today I started, I just wanted to test out a pair of waders. So I was trying different spots, and sure enough, there was a leak in the wader. And uh, so I've been shore brown. I'll put in some footage from that, but apparently we had some, we're having some action today, so, which is a good thing. Okay, I'm going to take a few more casts with this here rooster tail, and I'm going to think I'm going to put on something bigger. I'll show you it in a minute. I just want to see if there's a few fish still around. Um, I think I saw a flash. I'm not sure. 
and I'm sure they're definitely still here, coming in and out. I'm just curious to see if there's anything bigger wallowing around them. But hopefully, just looking to pick out a few more of these here crappie. About a quarter after six now. And we just have a little bit more fishing to do. I'm gonna take a little, another cast. Maybe we'll pick one up. Maybe not. We might try something bigger. Might even drop a worm in there. See if we pick something up big in that last half hour we had the fish. But working on time here. And just looking to have fun. And maybe get something big afterwards. Be fun to catch a few more of these guys. Then throw something bigger. But it looks... There we go. Wow. I think that's the biggest one yet. I think. And uh, this is the rooster tail. I believe it's about an eighth of an ounce. Probably could go a little heavier. It's a little deeper today, the water. And uh, that's just what the crappie seem to be on today. It might be skimmering closer, and that guy seemed like he was cold, maybe be too much of a good fight. But should be stretch, should stretch your line. Um, I forgot to do that. I was in a hurry, obviously. It's 5.17. Time's a ticking. Just like to catch a few more of these guys and then put on something bigger. Maybe we'll fish it through with the rooster tail to about 5.30 and then go with a countdown. But I got the strand. I just tied right to it. I don't think it'll make much of a difference. Um, we'll find out. There should be some fish around, so. Uh, I might have pulled out, out in. And it's been a little. And I re-tied on. I got another rooster tail. Oh, that's why you want to stretch your line. Got another rooster tail on. This one is in chartreuse. All chartreuse. I'll show you it a little bit later. Hopefully, shorter work just as good. But just getting going here. About 524. Give this a little. And I'm going to try something a little bigger. Gold. Change the battery in the camera. And maybe we'll get something. And see. Just kind of fan casting through the area. Right now, just seeing covering the whole zone. See if we get a response. But 537. I want to get that count done on. Maybe we'll get something real big and mean. Let's see. I'm going to take one last cast, change my battery, get the countdown on, and take off my sunglasses and see what we get. So this may be the last cast with the rooster tail. I change the retrieve on them. Sometimes fast, sometimes. There we go. Wow. That I think. That's the biggest one yet. Pull the last cast on the rooster and go with the uh, uh, countdown. Or should we take one last cast with this? I'm going to say we take a cast. Why not? And so I fan cast it through the area and I hit them over to my right. So I'm going to repeat that. I think I'm going to go back the other way with the rooster tail this time and see. Maybe they squeezed in. Or not, but I'm gonna take a couple more casts <laughs> and then we'll pick them up with the countdown too. But just having fun with the the rooster tail right now. My battery is gonna go anytime soon, so and you'll catch them right in front of you a lot of times. They'll kind of like take turns if you miss one, especially if you're bouncing it a little. They'll take turns going after it. One might miss it. Another one following behind as you bring it in. Two or three. They're grouped up. So sometimes you get them right in front of you. That last fish um, had its chance. 
and he's the one that grabs it right by your feet. But just sweeping through the area, they a fair bite today, you know, I really can't complain. It's 539 on the clock. I'm definitely going to take a few more casts with this. It's, you know, we could drop on a, a, a minnow and actually do even better with it. But this is just, this is pretty good, you know, this is pretty good fishing. I have no complaints, whatever happens with this here on. But I'm just kind of curious with a countdown minnow. Uh, so I am retied and ready to go. It's 6.43. And quick note. If you keep the split ring on, you don't have to, you can use any knot. Um, you don't have to make a loop knot. I actually prefer to use them without the split ring. But this is a new one. I lost a couple through the winter. So I just didn't have time to take it off. You now it's five, whatever it is, six, 44. And all right, let's see how this guy does. So it's five, six, 47. I haven't had any real response with this. I am contemplating on taking a few casts and just going back to a rooster tail. Um, there should be a crappie or two that'll pick it up. I'm having fun with the tails. The countdown is not counting. But uh, I'm going to take a few casts. I'm going to fan cast through here a little bit. And throw one up the middle, to the left, to the right, somewhere in between. Cover some water, and if I don't get a hit or response, I am going to go right back to my rooster tail. I know that they will work in. I know bigger fish will take them. But I'm going to give this guy a shot. Work the thrill. The countdown. That one in the weeds. I don't know if there's any weeds on it or not. I'll have to check. I haven't had a bite. I think that one hit. Right when we start. There we go. Oh wow, it's better fish too. Oh, we, is it better or we just snagged him? Got him on the back. That's a crappie. That's a crappie. That's not how we want to catch them. Ooh. He must have come up on an angle. They hit like bass, those things. He must have came around. Those big bass, that's when you get them on the side of their, their faces, because they're much bigger. Sometimes their necks, so say. But, okay, there's fish there. They're interested in it. But maybe we will fish it through. I'm going to take a few more casts, work this through. Maybe we'll pick up something. And it's 10 of now. Stuck in the tree. I don't know if it's on the branch behind that, but sometimes it is. Sometimes you get lucky. If you... We didn't. Oh, we did. All right. So that might be a sign of good countdown fortune, and we are going to fish this through. A little breezy out today, a little breezy out. I don't know if you can see it. And our hour is up. But we got some daylight, so I'm going to be fishing more. So we're going over an hour. We got about a good 20 casts left, so. Now I think we'd be better off with that rooster tail. But we overshot that. We might have to use a rooster tail. All right. I guess that's destiny. Rooster tail it is to finish off the day. We've got a line stretch, we'll get our twist out. Anyway. Alright, we're gonna do 
I'm gonna do one last volley, then I gotta get out of here. Oh, that was a good cast. If we don't get one here, there's no fish around. So I'm gonna fire one to the left, one up the middle, one more up the middle, and one to my left, I think. Maybe one to the right. This is the last volley we're gonna do, then I gotta get out of here. Six oh eight still. All right, it's 7.10, and I am going to be heading out after this last volley, for sure. So, thanks for watching. Um, one hour of fishing, I think we hit it pretty good. Um, pretty productive hour. The fish were in and out and whatnot, and fired off some casts, and worked with the rooster tail, seemed to be the, what was working today. I had the, the yellow strand line on, and the, Clear monofilament leaders seem to hit a few more fish, but they just could have just pressed away. Um, just didn't want to take the time to put another leader on. But I uh, lost the one. And but no, can't complain. It's a lot of crappie. And uh, tried to crown down a bit. Had one on there. Saw one follow it. It definitely was a pickerel. And uh, now I'm getting out of here. But pretty fun watching the clock. One hour fishing, quick fishing. A beautiful winter day. 75 degrees out, they said. And uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Please like, dislike, comment, subscribe to the channel. And remember always, fish your way. And thanks again. Have a great afternoon, night, evening, uh, wherever you are. That was a fish. <laughs>